Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group Weekly Update for the week ending August the 6th, 2021. Well, we got a little change in location today uh, for a variety of reasons. We'll give you an update on that soon enough, but uh, I thought I'd just do it from the office setting uh, today. So we're right around midday on the trading day on Friday, August the 6th, 2021. And Big news on the employment uh, front this morning, almost a million jobs, 943,000. Uh, the ADP payroll number came in, spiked the S&P 500 to a record high. Um, and so that, that's all good news right now. I want to, uh, and so yeah, every, everything's looking good. Uh, the, the NASDAQ's taking a breather, so you're letting uh, some other participation go on in the small and mid caps. Uh, right now uh, this week and so they're trying to break out but in the meantime I wanted to take a look at a couple of different areas I wanted to give you a heads up because we're we're moving through those uh, summer doldrums here looking to uh, you know Labor Day is looming closer and closer and then we get back into the swing of things uh, when the fall comes but I want to point out a couple of things to you right now all-time highs are great uh, employment numbers are largely coming into these are the big hits man uh, no and no real surprise there travel and leisure and inter entertainment that's the big sector that saw the huge tremendous growth in jobs not really a surprise because it's summertime right and we got uh, increasing numbers of, uh, of, of businesses reopening uh, you know and, and and for the vaccines I'm going to come back to the vaccines in a minute obviously but the other big sector is government. Government's going back to work. So that's the good news is a lot of people going back to work. The bad news is the other pieces of the economy are, are not so much seeing that, that job growth. I want to switch and show you this screen here uh, for a sec. And look at these sectors because this is reminiscent of what we saw uh, in April of 2015. A very smart uh, uh, man named Mark Colbert wrote an article in Market Watch this morning. Well, he didn't, may not have written it this morning, but he published it this morning. Uh, and he's looking at everything for this week and points out the following. If you look at these sectors, and, 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 and I, I watch sector rotations, and this has been developing uh, for a while. But you're looking right now, at, if I can focus, well, I get you to see the green, the greenish colored dots. I'm not great with colors. We've got greenish circles here, and we've got, uh, and we've got more violet, I think, uh, colored uh, circles here I'm outlining. Right now, let's focus on the greenish, and you're seeing energy sector, financial sector, moving, weakening, and moving into lagging, as well as utilities. That has generally signaled uh, a, a, a market top, a peak. Now, we're dealing with something we haven't seen before, so COVID uh, and, and the pandemic recovery and, and all of the attendant uh, features of that may indicate different uh, information, but that's historically what we're what we're seeing these these sectors tend to start moving into lagging uh when we've reached a market top and generally that comes you know a few weeks after we see these things so you're looking you know a month or two down the road which would put us what september october that wouldn't be unexpected and and what you're also seeing in 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 terms of consumer discretionary consumer staples healthcare, you see those are the violet ones uh, uh, violet colored, uh, I'm going to say, you know, bluish to, uh, to, to, to purple, somewhere in there, violet is what I'm going to call them, not violent, uh, but violet. And so anyway, the point being is that those sectors tend to uh, start strengthening towards the later uh, stages of uh, economic recovery and those cycles. And so, uh, and you see tech is a big deal. Tech's very much stronger. Uh, uh, moving uh, into that's the hazards of doing it from the office, right? Uh, moving, moving into the uh, the uh, leading uh, uh, categories and, and real estate starting to head down to weakening. As you can see, communications is moving down into weakening too. These are all indications, fairly consistent. It's never a perfect picture, but fairly consistent with uh, 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 previous correlations of market tops and things uh, tightening back up and, and, and starting a different uh, different cycle, uh, a different stage of the business cycle. So we'll go from that. Now, I wanted to give you heads up also. So that's, that's heads up number one. Heads up number two is that we're getting information 
uh, from uh, sources that uh, that, that uh, uh, we have in, in overseas, the, internal to China. And not only that, but uh, the news reporting that we can get out of China right now are indicating uh, that uh, the the populace is concerned about shutdown, new shutdowns in China, and the news that is allowed to be uh, broadcast uh, is also confirming uh, reasons for that. So I'll take a look at these four areas now. These uh, the the one in the and I, I'm going to butcher this, but the Yunnan province down closer to Myanmar. Uh, that is spreading, okay? A new a new Delta variant is spreading out there, uh, as well as these other places here. Wuhan is one, uh, Nanjing and Xinjiang, if I'm pronouncing those even close, even remotely close to correct. Uh, these not, uh, these are, are, are cases that are spreading with this Delta variant. The problem is that you've got uh, not so many vaccines in China right now, but a lot more people and the issue is they're doing their own homegrown vaccines, which have not proven as resilient as our vaccines, certainly not the Pfizer and the Moderna. So they're not as robust against the variants. And the concern there is, is, is so then in order to control the spread, since there's not so many of the vaccines, not so much of the vaccines, that China could start shutting down. They've already shut down subways in Beijing. And, uh, and, and so if you start getting supply chain disruption, again, this one place uh, down there in uh, uh, Nanjing, uh, closer to Shanghai, those are, those are closer to shipping points, manufacturing centers, uh, they're looking at shutdowns. That will be a domino effect for the Western world. And so not trying to create any panic here, just trying to say heads up, what happens if we get another supply chain disruption? Clearly, that's going to exacerbate inflation concerns, but maybe you might want to buy, not don't, don't hoard, but maybe stock up a little extra just on staples right now as we get closer to the fall and we're, we're reopening here in the United States. We've got good, robust vaccines. The vaccine seems to be uh, increasing, but as this continues here, uh, you're going to see people, uh, uh, there's going to start being pushed back to, uh, as companies say, okay, we're going to mandate a vaccine to come back to work. And those people who are older are either going to not want to do the vaccine and they're going to leave and they'll start retirement at a, at a time they didn't uh, intend to. Or the opposite, if the company doesn't mandate the vaccines, the older uh, personnel may want to leave because they don't want to be around the extra risk. Of, uh, of that. So this story isn't a, a finished work yet. It, it's, it's, a, it's a story in progress, a work in progress. Um, all we're saying is, you know, watch out for this thing as we move forward. Don't be surprised and, 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 and be always uh, diligent because we are diligent watching the market activities, looking for the news. And we get our sources, we actually, uh, actually our regular communication um, that people in my family are with uh, with those inside of China and uh, getting some of this information. So sometimes we, we get a little bit ahead of it. And uh, thanks, Paige, for that. And until next week, stay healthy, happy, stay strong, enjoy what's left of the summer, and I'll see you next time.